hello my lovelies you're welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here subscribe it's absolutely free and while you're at it please hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so you're notified whenever i post a new video today i'm going to show you guys how to make a boo boo dress or a kaftan dress i don't know what you guys call it but it's basically a very free dress that you can wear to anywhere it's comfortable it's actually trending at the moment alongside with the headband the braided headband so yeah for some reason it is trending so we decided to hop on the trend and i decided to make a video on how to make that dress if you want a tutorial on how to make the braided headband let me know in the comment section down below without further ado let's get right into the video oh hey i didn't see you there <laughs> So this is the fabric I'm using. I'm using the chiffon fabric. It's um, 3 yards. I simply folded the fabric and now I'm just drawing a baseline at the top of the fabric there. From that baseline, I'm drawing, marking her bust points, under bust and hip line. Now the length of the fabric is how long I want the dress to be so I wouldn't be cutting um, the length. I'm just extending the line of the bust points, under bust and hip line. Once I'm done with that, I'm just dividing her bust measurement by 4, placing it on the bust point line and marking that measurement. Now I'm also doing the same thing for the hip line. I divided her hip measurement by 4 and I placed it on the hip line and you know marked that point. I also added 2 inches allowance. I didn't show it but I, I also added 2 inches allowance at the um, bust point line as well after marking the bust measurement. Now I'm just drawing a straight line from the hip down to the length of the um the length of the fabric or the length of the dress now for the um extended sleeve i simply marked um eight inches from the baseline that's because her round sleeve measurement is 15 inches 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half inches so i just added half inch to make that eight inches so that's why i marked eight inches from that baseline so it's going to accommodate her round sleeve now I'm just cutting along the lines. So from the hip line, I also drew a diagonal line that joined to the bust line. And then I drew a curve to get to the round sleeve all the way. Now this is the front bit done. Now if you notice, I didn't mark any measurements at the under bust line. That's because this is a free dress. I don't, it doesn't need to be you know cinched at the waist or at the shape line or, the, or at the shape so it's not necessary to mark any shape measurements it's supposed to be just be free so once you get the bust and the hip you're good to go so i'm using the front um bit as a pattern to cut the back bit so i'm just following the same outline now notice something from the fold of the front bit i marked her shoulder measurement which was eight inches and then from that point i now marked her sleeve length so that's how long the um, extended sleeve will be just in case you were wondering now for the um width of the neckline i marked four and a half inches and for the depth i marked five inches that's how wide I want the neck to be. So I'm just drawing curves to join those two points. Note that the width of the fabric is folded in, in half. Since I marked um, four and a half inches, it's actually nine inches when the fabric is opened up. Now that's for the front. For the back, the depth I marked was three and a half inches, but the width remains the same for the front and the back. I'm just cutting that curve. Now moving on to my sewing machine, I'm simply placing both of the front and the back pieces right sides facing and now i'm just going to sew at that baseline or simply on the extended sleeve the top of the extended sleeve rather just joining both pieces together i'll do the same thing for the other side as well Now once that's done, I'm going to start from the sleeve again and then I'm going to sew all the way down. I started my um, shaping from 
with half an inch and then as i got to the body of the dress i increased that um you know sewing allowance to about one inch just so that the dress remains you know free because there'll, there'll be no zipper in this dress so you want the dress to be free it's a booboo dress not supposed to be tight i'll do the same thing with the other side so i started with um half an inch seam allowance and then i increased that when i got to the body to one inch seam allowance So that means the dress has an, an excess of two inches, which makes it free and comfortable. Now I'm going ahead to um, just weave all the um, allowances because I want everything to be nice and neat. Just going ahead to weave all of it, both the, the body, the sleeves, you know, the baseline, everywhere. Just weaving everything to be nice and neat. The only part I did not weave was the neckline because I'm going to go ahead and use a bias to pipe the neckline so there was no point weaving it. Now I'm going ahead to weave the neckline. Before I do that, I'm simply just confirming the width of my neck. And once I've done that, I'm going to have to take my bias now and I'm going to place the fabric or place the bias, the right side of the bias on the right side of the fabric. Starting from one shoulder seam, I'm going to sew the bias all the way around the neck till I get to that same shoulder seam I started with. And once I've gotten there, I'm just going to cut out the excess bias. And now I'm turning the dress to the wrong side and then I'm just going to turn the bias to the wrong side as well. Turning the bias to the wrong side, I'm just going to sew on that wrong side all the way around so that the bias doesn't show on the right side, it only shows on the wrong side. And once I'm done with that, I'm just going to cut off the thread. And this is what it looks like once we're done piping the neck. I went ahead to hem the sleeves and the, um, the hem of the dress and all that. And yeah, that's it guys. Very simple, very easy. I made the neck very wide so she can decide to wear it as a, um, you know, one shoulder dress or she can decide to wear it. On both shoulders I went ahead to make two braided headbands and I also made a scarf for this outfit if you want a tutorial on how to make a braided headband let me know in the comment section thanks for watching guys bye